Hello and welcome to today's Just Chops on the Podcast. And today we're with a band called State of Romance. A State of Romance, um, I think, were probably originally formed by Darren Rogers and Dean Lilly. Is that right? That's the one, yeah. And you used to be in a band called Little Crazy. We did, yeah. many years ago. Many years ago, many moons ago. Many what, sort of, what sort of music was that then, Little Crazy? It's a bit like a riff off of Evanescence. A bit, a few, soft rock. Yeah, soft rocky. Okay. Well, female fronted. Oh, you had a female singer, did you? There's a female singer in that one, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Which is not advisable. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever get to release anything? Or? We did. We did uh, a couple of EP releases, an album called Lost Poison. We did a lot of tours, to be fair. We did uh, a tour with Tracer. Uh, we did some good supports. So we did some O2 Academy uh, main stages. It was good at the okay. time, wasn't it? Yeah, we Sheffield good. Arena. Sheffield Arena, Arena. we did... Uh, yeah, eight, ten thousand. And yeah, yeah. We did the last official band before Don Valley Stadium. We did Don Valley. Big. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. I've got that written down. So you were the last band to play there. Yeah, before they ripped it down, yeah. yeah. yeah it wasn't yeah. main stage. Uh, but they put a big um, like uh, lorry staging. And okay. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it's always good playing on the back of a truck. But it, it? it was a good day apart from the weather. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it rained. It rained all day. It <laughs> <All day. laughs> <Funded. laughs> It was out in the summer as well. Typical. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it was actually, the it summer, was actually yeah. July and yeah, it just Typical it thundered. <laughs> thundered <yeah. laughs> oh. All right, so then you sort of like uh, split up in 2013, did you? 12.13 we split up, yeah, I went my own way doing DJ stuff to be honest, okay. and then uh, just over the last year, he was doing my head in, <laughs> <laughs> reform, reform, I'm doing something, so yeah, and then we created this uh, new new uh, project for it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What got you into DJing then, mate? Uh... Uh, I always used to like trance music in the day, and okay. obviously I used to love rock music because I'm a drummer, uh, okay. so weird, I liked a bit of both. And obviously with the uh, split of the band, I just wanted to carry on. So I just did the house music, tech house music, and did quite well with it. Signed to a lot of big labels and I'm still doing it, you know, but uh, my passion's always been rock music or okay. that kind of, you know, sound more. Like you'll find when I drive around in my car, you know, I like house music and I produce house music and stuff. I always play rock music. <laughs> okay. you know I mean? I've got more of a feel for that than I have anything to do with dance side. But I think what the, the the influences from the dance music has kind of created into what we're doing now. Heads so, while I've been hounding him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit more dance infused rock music mm. yeah, yeah. Play, than it is like a normal rock music. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, you sort of get your influences from bands like Linkin Park and stuff. And... Linkin Park, Bring Me Horizon, Odd, you know, all, all Pantera. I'll, you know, I'm a Metallica That's what makes fan. it different, though. Because we've got all these different genres coming in, all these different, and oh, it works. I so. want professional, though. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, of course. Sorry, mate. You were saying about the different genres. Yeah, the different genres, like like does into different genres. Laura says I am. I mean, I'm just full out rock, but like. Yeah, yeah, I'm a dance thing. man, and obviously yeah. Lewis is yo. You you're a bit more thrash. You, he listens to some weird stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some real <laughs> weird stuff. He's yeah. like he likes techno mixed with rock. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's different. It's different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It seems to be a thing now. It seems to be a bit coming. I, cause it, yeah, it was around like in the early 2000s, I guess, like Linkin Park and all that sort of stuff. Mm. It seems to be coming back a little bit more with the 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 synth. Rock, if you like. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what we are very different. We've got a, we've got a, a sim guy, a great A pianist, but he, you know, he does all the samples and all the, the bits that we produce into it, and we do it live. Live, it's great, like to watch it. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I imagine, cool. yeah. So, but a bit more complicated. We have to have, you know, full pre sonus in ears and all that live, and so we can hear what we're doing. Uh, a bit more complicated to do, and a lot more practicing to get absolutely bang on. But yeah, it's it's really cool to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah imagine it. Yeah. We got Dave. David, yeah, well, he keeps getting lost. <laughs> David, <laughs> you. Yeah, so you've got a new single out called Reality. Yeah, yeah. Doing well. Yeah, so that came out early December, like a week ago, wasn't it? Maybe. Yeah. No, it was, it's about uh, four, it's, um, four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. Oh, it was November, was it? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I agree with Terry. When I had to listen to it, it's very Lincoln Park esque. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool track, guys. I like it. Yeah. Nice yeah, one. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I don't have much chance to, to check out your older catalogue. I mean, I did see some of your earlier stuff with um, with the lady singing, and I, I thought that was okay. Mine was good. Yeah, I couldn't find it. But no, I was, no, I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. I, uh, YouTube, I, I've managed to find it. Oh, it my, yeah, what it is is I went on Spotify, really and then there's just all different. Different little crazy stuff came up. I was like, yeah. oh, no, fucking yeah, yeah. You have to do it all one word. Yeah. It was one word, yeah, but it, yeah. podcasts came up and uh, all sorts of shit. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> get on, get on, get on YouTube. I found it. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> if you do, there's some videos on there which, yeah. yeah. If you do type in <laughs> a little crazy band or a little crazy fish music video, our stuff will come up, but... All right, okay. In, that is in the past, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rather, but it doesn't matter. I'll probably some... leave that behind. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say, I'll put some in this video, there's, but uh... there's, many, there's many stories to tell with that band, so we'll just crack on this one. <laughs> well, you can't say that and not tell us any stories, yeah, yeah. Well, no, you don't yeah. know, <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell. All oh, right, <laughs> well, we can, but yeah, we can, but come on, and spit one out. Uh, <laughs> be all and end all of the actual band is uh, the professionality of it got broke by me because I ended up with a singer. Ah, <laughs> okay. well, that's where it went downhill, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't go for so, yeah. the singer, mate. You can't mix uh, music and pleasure, that's right? Yeah, it screws it all up, and that's what it did. It screws it up. You can, <laughs> you can mix it. Well, it's very hard. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's best not to. It's a bit like Fleetwood Mac, though, isn't it, really? It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I look how successful they were. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You know, maybe they you should have stuck at it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. She was, she was hard work. Said, Let's break this band up and go back to the We'll away one night. <laughs> well, I think Stevie Nicks is probably hard work, so. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what's you know. <laughs> <laughs> So have you have you managed the gig yet? Because obviously you, you were formed during lockdown. But have you managed? No, we've got we've got our first gig back on the twenty seventh of January. Uh, oh, yes, we've been hammering the practices, uh, and hopefully that goes ahead. Obviously, because we know at the moment things are not looking good again mm. with uh, what Boris is keeps <laughs> well, popping up. Mind, up. But we'll get we'll, your boosters. Get your boosters. Get your boosters. All right, then. But we'll just see. Uh, we'll see how it goes, mate. I mean, we're we're, we're we're flat out of practicing, you know, like three times a week. Uh, so we're tight. So next year we want to want to be rocking it anyway. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Either yeah. or, just in case it doesn't happen, at least we'll be tight ready. So yeah. So if you've got a full set of new new, well, we have uh, a ten track album, track. mate. Like you've only heard one track of that, but we've got a ten track album. Okay. Uh, we're I'm, actually I'm in the middle of the second. We're, we're like into the second track on the uh, second Third. album. Well, second okay. third track, yeah. Um, but we have a full ten track album ready, rock and roll, yeah. So when's that coming out? Really cool. Uh, well, at the moment, management are just in the middle of talking to some labels on releasing the rest of it. We released the first track itself, you see. Yeah. Um, it's, it's had great coverage, great Spotify streams so far, great playlists. Uh, did it, did it there, but we're wanting to get picked up on a label for the rest of it, basically. Mm. Oh, so okay. Holding out, but if not, we're going to release the next single off it in Feb, I think February. Are you just looking for like distribution or? No, well, obviously I'm signed me personally to Ultra Sony. Yeah. So I've got the which is on the dance side. So we've got the contacts and I've got our management. So they're in the middle of trying to get us hooked up on quite a few labels to see where. All oh, right, okay, that would be good. As we speak, yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. That saves a lot of headaches, really, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. It does if we can get someone to you know support it where we're not having to release everything ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we just released the first chat with being new from the last band to get it rolling, you know, get something yeah. out, get people hear what we're doing. We released a music video just recently as well, and bits and bobs, just to see what we're about and what we're doing. So, and it seems yeah. to be doing really well. Mm. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Cool. Oh, that's good. Music yeah. video is out, so we'll yeah, get, yeah. Have you seen that? Get, get it watched. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, the, the music the, video, the music video yeah, 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 yeah. Watched that, yeah. It's out on uh, YouTube and. It's on your website as well, because I went on your yeah, website. It's on the website, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you've been on website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I couldn't find your website. I did look at it. I did look for it. I got all the links from Emma, but I was like, fucking hell, I can't find anything on these. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we went wrong. I had, yeah, I had shit, no, shit, no, no links. I just yeah. Googled and found them. Ah, uh, right, okay. Yeah, but I was Googling, but I was just like, oh, I don't know. I've had a bit of a rough, <laughs> I've had a rough day today. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Uh, he's coming up with romance and all this fucking romance stuff. I thought, fuck off. 
I was a bit worried because you had there was um because you are a state of romance, isn't it? Yeah, so I just wanted to make sure it was ASR, yeah. That's kind of like your your emblem, and yeah, so I was yeah, trying yeah. to make sure I was going on the right one. I was listening to it, then I went up to Spotify and I was just linking the dots to make sure I was listening to the right guys. I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I found it on Spotify, yeah. Yeah, it's a good song. I like it. It is good, yeah. Oh, yeah very good. Yeah. yeah. Some of the other some of the other tracks are, are really uh mixed with drum and bass and all sorts going on. Got a couple of features, which is one from a female and the other one is from a rap artist as well. Okay. okay, it has got that crossover on it. Okay, mm. cool. It's mixed between light rock, metal, dance, R and B, drum and bass. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably different. be a good mix with. Um, I don't know if you heard of the band Big Dirty. No, I've not heard of them. No. Yeah, you might be a good. You might be a good. Um, mix, yeah. Might a bit of a bit of synergy with those guys, and maybe tour with those because um, they've they've just released a well, they released a single a while back called Swine, and they they had a like a guest rapper and everything on that as well, and they were. Yeah. Because they, they were sort of like, I don't know, like sleaze, dirty rock, weren't they, to start with? And oh, they were a bit worried. They were pigeonholed themselves. So they've opened it up a bit and cleaned up their cleaned up their act as it was. Yeah. Um, and the stuff they released is really cool. And I reckon you guys would fit in well with them. Do you know what I mean? I think you could tour together. It'd be cool. Yeah, yeah they're, they're from, where are they from? I thought they were from a Sheffield area. Um, I can't remember, well, to be honest. The, the Big Dirty. Big Dirty. Yeah, I'll have a look at them. Yeah, so the, the yeah, have a look at their spine. Have a look at their spine. And I, yeah, I they released it as a mini film, didn't they? Yeah, you guys would be a good film. They're doing well, aren't they? Yeah, they're doing all right. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, they're doing well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. nice bunch of lads as well. Fucking nutcases, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are a bit. Yeah. Um, it was the first one we had where we had, oh, I don't know how many screens we had. Maybe five, five screens. Six. And it was really hard to keep up on who was talking and what was going on. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but um, yeah, I think you'd be a good fit with them. So uh, check them out and see why you guys yeah, think. Yeah, well, might, might not agree with me, but you know, it, it, uh... he's got him. He's gone. He's got him. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. <laughs> Here we go. He's on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was quite surprised with that rap bit. Because it's like uh, um, they made the last thing they made like a ten-minute mini movie out of it. So it's a bit like Snatch or something like that, or um, Lockstock. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's like that sort of movie. Type video and then uh, they've got like a rapper and everything in it. And... Yeah, it was pretty cool because I because Terry always says I'm a bit pigeonholed that I'm kind of like only into rock. Yeah. But, um, since doing the podcast, I've I've opened opened my ears a bit to to listen to other stuff as well and um, mm. yeah the techno stuff. So if I'm honest, if I ever listen to techno, it's normally I'm on a dance floor wankered. <laughs> kind of like tends to be what's happening when I listen to tech. I was just about to say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm in like uh, go on one of the big clubs like Amnesia or something like that, be yeah, uh, like Paul Cox or I don't know Adam Bayers on bashing it out. But yeah, you've got to be a bit pissed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 or uh, or other things. Another thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you been all around the world doing your DJ stuff, for me? I've done loads of stuff, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm like resident of Eden in a and I've are done you? shows at uh, Amnesia and everywhere. Yeah, I have, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, so you're pretty big noise in the DJ world, then? Um, quite well known in the beefy. Yeah, I'm resident. I live there each summer, so I oh, do yeah. like Hard Rock or Shire Tower. Eden, OB, Chirifa, everywhere really. I'm quite well known, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. We'll have to come over to your place for holiday. We'll come yeah. whenever. You just let me know. <laughs> but obviously, I'm trying to mix it up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm cool, though. I mean, the, uh, yeah. Obviously, I won't be stopping it. I'll still be doing it. But if we can mm. pick stuff up on this, yeah. then obviously, I'll be, you know, I fly for them back all the time anyway. I'm resident of Ministry of Sound in London as well, and Eden of Eve, which is the main club, main mm, resident. Right. I have another duo called Products of Us, which is like a progressive house thing as well. Okay. So a bit of everything. But obviously it's the rock thing that I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Birds, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, just... but it's good that, like, that you're into it. Like, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, like you said, like David just said, that I think he's a bit pigeonholed. A lot of artists are very one direction. Excuse the pun. You, I think shit. just having the, the different things I do makes it what it is. What it is yeah, yeah. yeah. As opposed to just being a standard indie rock band or whatever. Yeah. Like everyone's got, and don't get me wrong, indie rock bands and all the rest of it are great, and there's some amazing music out there. But I think we need to be different to what is out there. Yeah. Well, there's so much coming through now, especially after lockdown, with like basic rock music, if you like. Yeah. You know, you. Don't be wrong. There's some great bands, but 
Far it's all, it's yeah. pretty much all the same. Yeah. 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 Apart from basic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, but it's pretty much all the same coming out, you know. It's like mm. rock, 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 rock. Yeah, yeah. And now you've got like the odd one or two electronic rock bands popping up, like yourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you yeah. just can't wait for our album to release because there's some deep songs in there. There's some fun songs. There's some Mad his song. tech songs. Mm. Proper mm. Piece. I mean, we do a song called A List. Okay. A-list vibes, <laughs> and it's just <laughs> about. Puppy tips, basically. It's about, yeah, it's basically Puppy tips. And it's really mental. And it's just basically not ripping kind of stuff, but it's just being in the normal world with. It's not about some more... guy going out with a bird that thinks she's fucking a celebrity, mate. Yeah, basically. It's yeah. funny. <laughs> and uh, uh, the samples and everything and this sort of and everything, it's a bit mental. Yeah, it's fun. And then we do we'll a have song... to send it you to listen to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and then we do a song called that, Believed. Uh, Believed is very deep. The, the vocals and the samples and the synths on that is, is just enormous. Mm. More, more like really an deep, epic, yeah, epic, it's it's more epic orchestra song. type built track. Yeah. What we did, yeah, yeah. yeah so cool. yeah. the thing is, we, I record everything. We record everything in house. I've got my own studio, so all oh, right, okay. I do everything, uh, produce everything myself. We in the studio all, now, yeah. Instruments, record everything. We no, we're no, in his own practice room at the minute. We're, no, we're in the rehearsal room. We're just spinning around. All right, okay. We're in the rehearsal room. Ah, oh, cool. That's cool. Uh, because I'm really I've got my own studio as well where I produce. You yeah. Know, obviously, the house and rock music, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you produce other bands as well? Produce everything. Yeah, Master yeah. everything, record everything, produce everything. All right, cool. Everything. Well, well, we, we write the songs, Dallas, basically. I basically, I, I, I kind of write the music myself, produce this, this stuff in on Logic, fake clip first to give me an idea of the structure of what I'm wanting to do. And then we re-record everything properly. Yeah, okay. And then, I, you know, it gives me the ideas, the samples that I create and stuff. And then when we come to do that live, I just bounce the samples out to uh, the Korg, which is basically what Bring Me Horizon do, to be honest. And then he can play them live and then we practice it so it sounds exactly the same as record. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we create it and then I record all the drums, I record all the guitars, redo the bass. But I draw it all in on Sims like Nexus, uh, which okay. is all like, well, it's real guitars, but it's all just drawing it in on fucking lines, basically on the keyboard. Yeah. You know, drawing it in as simps. And then, yeah, we just recreate everything after. Yeah. And change yeah. bits and fucking add it and then make it all perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty interesting. Like, it's quite a different process, I guess, from. We're doing it as opposed yeah. to going into a studio and spending pounds and pounds when we can just. Yeah. Do it. yeah. But, what, yeah. but when we're done and he works his magic, because obviously he's a, he's a well known producer. Yeah. But when it's done, it's mastered. It's done. It's finished. It's also, yeah, I don't need work. anyone to master it. Oh, I, I, my, my, you know, I, I master stuff and I release them on Sony and shit like that. Yeah, like yeah. the ultra and and you know, the odd one might get remastered by someone else, but you know, it's very rare. Most of the stuff I just do it all myself. So yeah, oh, cool. that saves you a shitload of money. There's a lot of fucking money and a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that obviously, if as you know, you know, in a, if you went to a studio and you were spending that and all four grand or whatever <clears throat> on a, like a three or four days and that's it you're done you yeah. know what i mean and if if you go and you think fuck me that bit's really pissing me off we just <laughs> go back and redo it yeah yeah <laughs> it's been costly if it could smash yeah. you it, so we spoke to somebody else like that didn't we dave yeah Sorry? who the fuck was it oh no we want it was uh, <laughs> i was just thinking we did an interview remember the remember nasty nick cotton off eastenders uh-huh oh yeah yeah, he, he yeah. had his track mastered and then he wasn't happy with it and he had to go back to fucking uh, get it all done again. The guy was like, it's going to cost you. Like, That's the problem, you see. Whereas if there's someone all right, we can we can fucking play yeah. in the car for like a week and think, that bit's pissing me off. All his voice around. Right, we actually did it today. <coughs> we actually did it today, didn't we? Actually, you yeah, know, yeah. obviously the album's been done eight months, so we recorded, we, we produced all the album, recorded it all. We sat there eight months and then today, what did I do? We won uh, Believe. We Believe. Oh no no! A screaming echoes to the that's track you had one, yeah. one of the first tracks on the album, which you've not heard. There were a bit of his vocal, vocal uh, his vocal really blew me, Eddie. I thought, right, I'm going to tune it. So I went back and tuned it, and then rebounced it out again eight months later. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? So you can always go back and go. That's been annoying me for like mm. three months solid. Yeah, yeah. We've been listening to it in the car. Oh, we you haven't got to go back to a recording studio and do it. No, because obviously if I had to go back <laughs> for someone to just put like the the, the tuner on it or to correct mm. it in flex pitch or whatever. It'd have cost us another fucking 500 quid for the weekend. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's just, to be honest, mate, the amount of time we put in it 
I would say any studio we'd have gone to to do the whole thing would have cost us up way over 30 grand. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what we've created, right, in yeah. the quality wise as well. well, well uh, and you haven't released it yet, so you can always find it. We haven't released it, yeah. yeah. The yeah. thing is, what I wanted to do is create an album where the label can just go, fucking hell. It's done. We don't need to re record this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, the, to, to as good a quality as we could get it, we are yeah. thinking, them, them thinking, oh, we've got to spend fucking 20 grand on re recording it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, that was, that's the aim, what we yeah. kind of created, yeah. So, yeah, cool. Oh, well. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That's really interesting. Hmm. So, yeah. props, props to you, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that is, to be honest. With, with regards to gigs, then you said you got your first gig in January. Got anything more lined up after that, like festivals? Well, I've got an or... agent as well, me, because um, I'm with an agency. And, Boris Permitted. Well, Boris Permitted, <laughs> yeah. So, he's going to try and get us on a few festivals and stuff as well, because he's got the connections. Uh, so, we're just you know, we're just slowly getting to the point where we're ho hopefully going to try and jump on a few festivals like Slam Dunk and stuff because he he just he's involved in Slam Dunk and a few others, so he's in the middle of trying to get us a, a couple of lineups. We may have, may have possibly got a chance at our White Festival as well, but we're not 100 percent yet. But we're still brand new, you see. Yeah, We've only yeah. got one track out, so it's, it's quite difficult. What we need yeah. to do really is get the album out and then next year tour or get on yeah. the gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's difficult, especially this time of the year. Well, this is it. Because you're a bit late now, done. aren't you? You know what I mean? Yeah. You're a bit late to go forward, if you like, because yeah. most of these festival bookers start looking what January, February right. time. Yeah. That's right. You know, and then it's like, well, if we're going to get them on in September, then now's the time you want to be pushing it. Pushing yeah. it, yeah. yeah. But yeah, oh, well, interesting. Happy days. Like, yeah, well, I, I mean, nothing's impossible, is it? You know? No, no. We're just... If you've got the right connections, I. I we work, really. we work hard at it. We are constantly, every second we're working hard, on it. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we work yeah. on it. So. Yeah, that's good. I mean, like you said, if you've got the connections out there, if people can put you in the right direction, there's no reason really why you can't get on these festivals. Yeah. You know, even if you if you like push the album out to the organisers. Yeah, that's that's basically what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shoving it out now and see what we can get. You know. Yeah, yeah. Big wise, we can do the simple, easy gigs, but we want to get on the have a support with someone that's decent to get as a you know around the tour or the same time like you say a few smaller festivals or, or something that we can just do even if it's a smaller stage for next year yeah and then the year after also we'll have that album out it'll start creating and then yeah push it for the year after yeah well process but it is what it is it is yeah it's hard work as well you know yeah. especially for a new band this i know what it's like so it's fucking tough yeah. but, uh, so, what's your inspirations then? We'll we'll start with Chopper. We'll get him Chopper. get him involved. What's, what's no. your, your musical inspirations then, Chopper? Yeah, I don't know start. <laughs> Easy to some weird shit. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> From being young, it was probably like Zeppelin and Phantom and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, the normal sort of rock metal, and then yeah, classical, experimental, electronic. Oh, and anything. Anything interesting, yeah. 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 Oh, cool. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he's into some. He's shown me some videos where he's into it's like what good, fantastic. It's like I've never heard of these. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> 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 do, do pull up some, it does. Do pull up some Greg's man. Yeah. It's not like midget porn, is it, and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, he is into magic porn. <laughs> he would do magic porn. He no, he won't yeah. listen to it. He would do magic porn. There you go. There you go. Hens. <laughs> Hens chopper. <laughs> chopper. Chopper. <laughs> What was that Australian guy, wasn't it? Chopper? Yeah, yeah, Chopper. What was his name? Yeah. I, can, I can't remember his name. Chopper either. Reed, yeah. Yeah, yeah Chopper Reed. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good job. Is he dead? I think he is dead yeah, now. Yeah. He's, he's alive, dead, pal. He's here. He's <laughs> <started>. <laughs> oh, no, to be fair, I like to call him Bronson. Yeah. As in, like, Joel Charles yeah, Bronson. Yeah, Bronson. Yeah. Yeah. He, he used to have, used to have, used to have a long beard and Tash. <laughs> um, and he looked like Joel Bronson. like Charlie Bronson, yeah, yeah, we like we did a like I said we did a podcast with Nasty Mick and he actually got a letter from or a text yeah, actually from yeah. Charles Bronson. Get out of prison! Yeah, yeah, seriously, yeah, because he released his single 
the same time that Charles Bronson released this single, because he did a single for charity, I think. Yeah. Charles yeah. Bronson. Charles Bronson somehow got all of fucking uh, nasty Nick Cotton's <laughs> phone number <laughs> and he fucking texted him and he said, Listen, he said, you can't go putting your fucking single out the same time as I'm putting my single out. Oh, fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I might be in prison, but you're fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> when I get out, which yeah. I never. <laughs> but he caught in the text messages, he didn't call him John because his name's John Altman, right? He called him Nick. Yeah, so he, he thought he was talking Nick, to yeah. Nick Potter. Yeah. <laughs> so John sent him a text back saying, All right, all right, Charlie, it's nasty Nick here. Uh, and then he just went off on one on this text message and then he so didn't he, hear anything he, back. Probably a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's a bit um, he's he's a great guy like Nasty Nick Cotton, but he's a bit a bit balmy, I think, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Gotta be, on it. Gotta be. Well you must have, yeah, I suppose if you're gonna be a serial killer on the telly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, loads of people did he no he said I, I think there was only four wasn't it or something yeah yeah oh my was it? yeah yeah only four yeah there's only four, I don't, <laughs> only four uh, probably is a definition of a serial killer actually you know yeah <laughs> so did you all like start did you all pick up music from an early age or i mean yeah i just you know, saw drummer from 20 from you know, going on 28 years now. I was, uh, I don't know, 16, something like that. Oh, was it? That's pretty late, really, isn't it? 14, for... 16, something like that, 14. So I was in school. Oh, I was in first band at 14, so it must have been about 10, I'd have thought. Oh, yeah, when you first started, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when I picked it up, yeah. And actually, you were soft taught, weren't you? I've only been playing a year. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> I started when I was 12. And uh, yeah, Bronson's so, yeah. more um, musical. He's got performers in music and shit. Right? Mm -hmm. oh, have he's you? More technical. Okay, yeah. He's, I mean, a, he's a second genius guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's a good guitar. <laughs> they always pays to have one in the band, you know. Well, well, those yeah. are the fuck they do We're too busy getting pissed, we'll leave it with him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Get, get, yeah, fuck this, we'll just go for a rave. <laughs> let, him, <laughs> let him sort that's it out. Always the, uh, that's always the option. Yeah. Like, for instance, Friday night, I'm at Ministry of Sound, region at Ministry of Sound, and so yeah. so oh, there's even cool? options to go for a rave. <laughs> <laughs> the, th the thing is, though, with Chopper, he actually owns a pub, and it's right next yeah, to Yeah, well, I've heard some of his next to his pub. He sits there. Uh, so okay. he's oh, there. He can deliver his own Blue Moons and uh, Guinness and that. Shakes it, shakes it, man. It's the room. Oh, I'm, de I'm definitely living in the wrong country, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I, must, I need to move back over. I live in Holland, see, so. You in Holland, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it? How is it? Rough. Is it? At the moment, it's shit. Yeah, they just closed all the schools again today. Well, oh. they had a press conference yesterday. They closed the school. Yeah, they closed all the schools are closed again now. It's, it's crap, mate. Crazy, man. When it's, does it end? I don't know. Do you know what? It's, that's what I said to my girl, because they're on about <coughs> giving kids now, like five-year-olds, the vaccination, right? That's crazy. But what they need to do is they need to let the young kids catch it, because they're going to be the generation that kills the fucking virus off. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. they, they don't get really many heavy symptoms. They might get a little bit of a cold. So they'll mm -hmm. build the immunity to kill the virus off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. You know? It's just that yeah. uh, I, I just don't get all this softly, softly touch. If you're going to shut it down, shut it down for three weeks, shut everything. Yeah. And then crack up. Stop, yeah. stop fucking fanning around with keeping this open and keeping that open, but yeah, we'll do this and we'll do that. Just let it, shut it. Let it die out. Yeah. 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 And let the kids catch it, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's not going to hurt them, is it? I mean, we, I mean, you know, I don't know if any of you guys have had it. I've had it. I had it in June last year. It didn't yeah. really do much to me, to be honest. Give me a little uh, bit of a cough, a couple of days, lost my taste. But my missus, he, he did her in for two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, it's, everyone's different. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got done in for fucking months, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, Jeff, uh, Rowe, Jeff Rowe died two days ago. Who did? The comedian Jeff Rowe. Oh, did he? He must be about That's fucking 90. 73 he was. He's passed away, yeah. Might have been yesterday or the day before. What, Jeff Rowe. COVID? 
Yeah, yeah, caught COVID and then. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Right, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. well, they are you risking any older people, like. Eh? Yeah, they are. Of yeah. course, he, yeah, they're older. He had his two jabs and his booster. Yeah, but, yeah, but just because yeah. you're sure, that's it. Yeah, but when, you, it all, when you're old, you, 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 you're you going to be a lot more, you know, risky. Yeah, your immune system. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're a lot more at risk. And the older you get, the more risk. Don't live forever, awesome. can you? No, exactly. No. That's gonna that is gonna finish you off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? oh. Yeah, well something's gotta kill you, isn't it? You know? Yeah. yeah. We all die of something. Yeah, well, we don't like, die. Yeah, we all die, but kebabs, I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real pal. <laughs> Burger and kebabs. Yeah. I love a good dollar kebab. Yeah. Sat, sat eating a kebab at twelve o'clock at night on the sofa watching late night telly, that'll do me. That's a kind of, it's a good way to go, isn't it? That's, it's normal. that's a bit that's fucking normal. selfish, actually. Well, I think that's normal. <laughs> that's normal. You can't have a kebab before 10, 11 o'clock p.m. No. No. It's, it's one of them the kebabs. Yeah, it's like can't... 11 till 3 in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, they always taste better at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll bet he's watching. I'm going to fucking celebrity get me out of here. <laughs> no, it'd be, at that time of night, it'd be naked that. attraction. Oh, okay. Oh, they're naked uh, attractions. Uh, fucked up. Oh, that fucking <laughs> thing. Oh, <laughs> Not for me. The thing up. is, every time they get anyone on it, they're all really bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, have you ever seen people naked? Most people are fucking bad. Yeah, you know, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, normal people are fucking, you know, <laughs> who wants to look at that like? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. But, uh, yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> But that's David's favourite programme, so his wife tells him off all the time. It's <laughs> one way of getting away without looking at porn, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it just makes me laugh. It does make me laugh, because it's just the, the way that, or the things that people say, you know what I mean? They're eyeing them up, and they're, they're on about their personality, and they, they haven't heard them speak. They don't know where they're from. They don't know where they're from. <laughs> Why did you vote them out? Oh, I didn't like their personality. No, it's because he had a little shrimp, really, you know. Or she had a bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, it does crack me up. But, uh, yes, yeah, so what are you guys doing for Christmas then? Are you uh, still working together over Christmas or are you? Separating back your families and stuff. Yeah, we're just, just cracking on, mate. Yeah, we've got obviously a couple of days off where we're going to do his family stuff if we're allowed. But um, yeah, we're just down here most of the time, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. When are you going back to Ibiza? Writing, writing, writing. I go back in it, well, it's normally May, but it might be brought forward to April this year. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. We shall see. Yeah. But I go over with Mrs. and we, I've got an apartment there. Um, okay. But I, I do fly back. Every two or three weeks. Well, so, I hope, the, I hope, I hope this you... band takes off because then all the other boys can have a fun. Well, this is it. I'm hoping, to as well. and, well, I'm, just, I'm hoping to try and, you know, break it up a little bit, to be honest. Yeah. So I'm not doing the DJing as much. Well. It's kind of killing me a bit. Oh, um, is it? You, you, yeah, it's just late nights. Getting old, you know, are you? Six in the morning, smashed all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> it weighs you down a bit, doesn't it? I'd rather do like you know your band stuff's a lot earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Six in the morning, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it's I love it and I'll never stop doing it, but I just want to take this new field. Mm-hmm. And the fact that I missed drumming for the for the 10 years that I didn't play, and now we're back into it. It's just so fucking exciting. Do you know what I mean? Really What's good. the scene like over in Ibiza? Have they got a rock scene as well? They do have a they do have a big long weekend of rock, which I can easily get on. They do events in Eden and stuff like that, which I'm already, I don't even need to say anything I'm on. Because obviously, I've, I've been there going that, I've been doing it that long with them. I know the owners, the, the promoters, I run my own events there. So, but yeah, I don't even have to say, as soon as they announced the dates for the Rock Weekend uh, and all the big big clubs they put it in, I'll be in there. It's not fun, yeah. That's one thing that's uh, good for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice holiday yeah. for the rest of the lads then. Yeah, a nice holiday mm-hmm. for you. Oh, okay. Around your place, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, all around my place. It's gonna be messy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, pub next door. Shit, so you'll love it. <laughs> right, David, what you got from the word police? I I struggle to find something today. You can we, struggle to find I something. Have, the I word have, I have, because I I found the same website you've been on. Because I was oh, looking for ones, yeah. So yeah, we got an extra section, and I haven't written anything down today of. Um, 
words that have been banned for the word police. So we've had some really strange ones. Or like dialect was on the one day, wasn't it? Because you're not allowed to, to say that. The other one last night was soul food. Soul food, yeah. So um, I, I thought I'd flip it on his head, right? And ask you guys of a word that really pisses you off that you think should be banned. Boris. Oh, <laughs> Boris. <laughs> not Boris Karloff, I hope. Boris, Boris Karloff is a great actor. Fucking Boris the Blade. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's Boris the Blade. <laughs> if that's how we phrase that, fucking Boris. Fucking Boris. <laughs> Here we go. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> We could be our own word police, see, couldn't we? No, are, I can't stand the fucking word police. They piss me off. No, but there yeah. are words on there that... It's it controlling, isn't it? Fuck them. Grind, the gripes yeah. out, isn't it? Why can't you see what the fuck you want? No, I, well, I, you I, can. I, you I, can. You can. There's certain move. people who don't fucking like it. That's fuck right. <laughs> yeah, we can. Uh, we, uh, we do actually see what we I do a lot of it in our music. We will say what the fuck... We do a song called Controls. Yeah? Actually, we wrote that about Corona. We're all about coronavirus. It's all about coronavirus. It's about controlling everything. It'd be a good idea to release yeah. that straight away, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah it would, yeah, actually. Well, 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 well that's been, what we're doing. We've been talking obviously... about releasing that next. Yeah, we don't get picked up by January, well, within the next couple of months. We've, we've got it set for, like, end of February. Mo- uh, end of February. Emma's plugging it again. Okay. So that's all cool. So that's all set in stone, pretty much, anyway. Which, and we're going to do a really cool fucking video. And we're going to dress up as Boris and, and just take the absolute piss, mm. which would be great. So yeah. You could get Alex Baldwin to dress up as... Tr- oh, no, you might be in jail. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, I'm sure he goes. <laughs> well, he's getting done for murder, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course he is, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> no, they, he switched it on to a member of the bloody crew now, have not he? He said it was their responsibility to make sure there was nothing in the gun. Oh, <coughs> I, see. Well, I saw him on the boy. news. Probably does. Crook bastard. I saw him on the news, he looked like shit, to be honest. Yeah, he did look pretty awful. He yeah. looked fucking rough, yeah. He looked like he hadn't slept for about four, 48 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, going shooting people on set. Yeah. That's not always the best idea. No, no, <laughs> no especially when the uh, cinema photography kind of need them, really, don't they? What do you do if you're making a movie? And the filming him at the time. When yeah. it's, yeah. <laughs> it's quite good evidence, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's a bit of a bizarre story, really, isn't it? I mean, they said they had, like, I don't know, 50 guns on set or something that were all live. Yeah, that's fucking mad. They did yeah. that once before with... Uh, was it Bruce Lee? With Brandon, Brandon Lee. Yeah, Brandon Lee Bruce Lee's film, yeah. Top on stage, yeah. yeah. Actually Broke. filming this... They, they, they yeah. reacted a, a part of one of Bruce Lee's films. Can't remember what it was. Where they shoot. It was shoot the end bit on the when he comes to kick and they fucking shot him. <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah, yeah it was madness. a reactment of the film he did with his father, but he actually fucking killed him. Yeah, and so, the, the, the guy, the actor that did it, it fucked him up. About it, he was he was a mess for years and years and years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that was kind of like the that was because I was a bit of a Brandon Lee fan, and that was kind of like his film where he was just that was just going to elevate him really. Wanted the crow was yeah. such a good I mean, film. In, in all honesty, that is my favorite film of all yeah. time. The crow, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely love it. My yeah. favorite film of all time. Yeah, we had a chat with the band. Was it this week? No, first band oh, of the week. Fuck it out. This week's dragging. <laughs> <laughs> the band last Excuse week. Tomorrow, come on. And um, <laughs> they, um, they actually took uh, the name of their band out of the brand of E film, didn't they? Oh, yeah, Shadow Smile. Shadow Smile. Oh, Shadow Smile. Oh, was a, yeah, you know Connor? Yeah. 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 Hey, he's from Sheffield, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he knows him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'd, never, I'd never really taken any notice of them. When he said it came out of the film, I said, Fuck, I love that film. Where's he got that from? And it was yeah. out of the film. Yeah, he took it from a Cure song. So. Yeah, yeah. Good <laughs> well, soundtrack as well. To listen to the soundtrack. It is a good it's soundtrack. Really yeah. I mean, so, for me, that soundtrack, Stone Temple Pilots, Big Enter. What a tune. Mm. Oh, I'm the Cure Burn. Yeah, yeah. That was, that's where he took the thing from. Yeah, really, really good soundtrack, well. Yeah, it's, it is a wicked film. Really Not as good as Rocky. Rocky Three. Oh man! <laughs> Rocky, you can't beat Rocky. Rocky Three. Rocky Three. No, Rocky. Rocky oh, the Tiger. Ah, uh, Rocky Four <laughs> soundtrack where it's got. Um, it's on fire and all. No, that. no, 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 no. no. Uh, Rocky yeah, Four soundtrack. Oh no, that's that's now it's Dolph Lundgren. That's, part four. that's Rocky Four, yeah. Rocky yeah. Four is amazing. When he's in the when he's in the shed, yeah. and then also when um, 
he kills Apollo Creed and he jumps in his Lambo. That's, that's oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What's oh, what that? Yeah. That's immense, that is. I can't, is, yeah. I can't think of what that's called. I can't think of what that's called, yeah. That's a, no, that's no, a that's quality. Good. <laughs> that's good my head in now. That. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, guys, well, good luck with your rest. Well, with your album release, good luck with your single, your forthcoming single release. If you release it, it's not too controversial, is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what control? Yeah, control. yeah. It's, it's is it really controversial? The, the government's controlling, so yeah, he just basically mentions all the uh, um, what's what's the word, cunts, conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, conspiracy theories. <laughs> Well, no, but obviously we're just talking about he's just being fed up of being controlled with bullshit, basically. Yeah, yeah. but is it bullshit though? That's the question. Well, no, I don't. I don't think it is, but I think some think... of it's a bit exaggerated to too far. Yeah. In it, you know, what I mean, it's not. It's there. It's real. But our our, our point is like like you're saying, sticking vaccines on kids at five years old. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's weird, isn't it? You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. It's just not. There's, there's only so far you can go with it, and these are going way too far. Mm. At the end of the day, it's it's like flow. You've got to eventually you've got to live with it, or they're just going to keep going. Oh, exactly. Omicron, this Gogaron, this yeah, Jogalon. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're just make it up as they go along. So, yeah, yeah, but that's you know that's my point. You've got to let the kids get it, man, because they're going to be yeah, the generation yeah, yeah. to kill it. Absolutely. Why not? I haven't even thought of that. Well, they have to. It's the same as the flu. I mean, I've never had a fucking flu flu jab in my life. What the fuck's all that about? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck that shit. Because Spanish flu sort of died out, didn't they? After that, yeah, that were bad. Spanish, yeah. Spanish flu were worse. I think it three years. I think Spanish flu were bad. Why? Yeah, yeah. 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 and bird flu. Mm. And bird flu. Yeah. Yeah. Just let the kids get it, and then it would be all right. Yeah, next generation. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the only way you can do it. So. Mm. I, I had that brainwave today. Actually, I, I need I need to get onto Fauci or somebody and give, tell him. Um, give Boris a bell. Yeah, I'll need to. Back. Actually, I need to get this cunt over here. Boris Boris the <laughs> party on Facebook. So on the 24th of December, they've announced a party in Downing Street, which you can go and they're having a rave. So you we're guys... Going. Are, oh, we're, going, we're going. We're going. We're going. <laughs> yeah, we're going. In. <laughs> in there, on there as well. He can... He can yeah. The Boris. There's like 1.7 million people going to Boris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to like that when they turn up. <laughs> All waving banners, probably. Yeah, all the yeah. wine and a quiz. Oh, yeah, I am back. Dickhead. All right, then, guys. Well, I'm going to whack, whack your video on the end of this. Awesome. Or whack your video for uh, reality, and then uh, maybe I can dig up some of your little crazy stuff and put that on. <laughs> Yo, please. <laughs> don't, please. Oh, don't. <laughs> well, I guess I've got to put something in you, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to put Chop a read on. Just put Boris's announcement on after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put a bit of Chopper in you. Yeah, but yeah. I'll put, I'll put, a, put a bit of Chopper in. <laughs> awesome. All right, cheers, guys. Yeah, thanks yeah, for joining us. Good, thanks a lot. And good luck. And over Thank a you, mate. Awesome. Awesome. Have a good one. Yeah, and don't forget to invite me to Ibiza. Absolutely, mate. You're in. All right, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Ibiza, ever. Oh, uh, it's good. I haven't. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, well, I'm not alone then. Thank fuck for that. No, I've never been to Ibiza. I've done Mallorca and Menorca, but I've never done Ibiza. Yeah, yeah. No, right. it's good. It's good. If you want all to right. party, you want to rave, it's the place. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. All right. Cheers, guys. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, Cheers. Guys, thanks Take it easy. to me now what you gonna do without me in your life what you gonna do without me on your mind all i want to do is break away from the lies all you want to do is go and fuck over guys
pull yourself together. I told you this would happen. What you gonna do? I'm out of your life. You stand to me alone on the edge of a knife. Deep up inside, what do I do now with all of this time?